It is Meg Elphick here again for the FEI to give you a roundup of the action in the 2024 Paris Olympics in the eventing. And today's exciting because it's cross country day. Firstly, how cool was this fence? So let's talk a little bit about cross country. Obviously, they got their penalties in the dressage the day before. They're going to carry those forward into the cross country, but it is very easy to pick up some more. They're going to be galloping around 23 fences. It was around a nine minute track. If they have any stops, run outs, they're too fast, they're too slow, they can incur more penalties. They'll be galloping around the beautiful grounds of Versailles and trying to get as close to that optimum time as possible. Any penalties they pick up on this day will go forward into the show jumping. So they're looking for a fast clear round. So let's talk top performers. This lady here, Laura Collett on London 52 for Great Britain, they were our overnight leaders for the dressage. They did a really immaculate cross country round, just ever so slightly too slow, which gave them a couple of time penalties, meaning this guy right here was able to slip into that gold medal position overnight before show jumping. So this is Michael Young on Chickmunk FRH. He did a very quick cross country round, coming home with no penalties to add. Didn't he know about it? Look at him celebrating as he crossed the finish line, knowing he had put in an epic score for the German team. Lastly, we can't talk about top performers without mentioning Chris Burton for Australia and his gorgeous horse, Shadow Man. They also did a very speedy round inside the time, leaving them in bronze position going into the show jumping. Obviously, the Olympics is all about the teams. And let me tell you, things were shaken up on cross country day because we only have the three riders. Every score counts. So any falls or run outs, it really changed the leaderboard. But going into the show jumping, we had Great Britain in gold position. Then we had our home nation, France. They moved up the leaderboard into silver position, adding just six penalties to their collective team score. Now, you could always tell when it was a French rider going round because the crowds were going absolutely wild for them. And finally, in bronze position, it was Japan. Their riders put in three stellar performances to go forward to show jumping on a team score of 93.8. Overall, a rather special day of sport. Pierre Le Goupil, the course designer, did the most amazing job of creating a course that was not only beautiful to look at, but also challenging and required a lot of respect. As I said at the start, this fence a personal favourite. It was called the Stag, and you can see just how many crowds it brought in. So make sure you join me for the final video. We're going to talk show jumping, and our Olympic champions will be revealed.